Hi, so I've done tutorials on other engines. I'm going to see what it's like uh, to try them out now on Unity. This is something like Temple Run. It's a pretty simple game dynamic. Okay, so to get started, just uh, create a new project. You can name it uh, whatever you want. I'm calling it Sky Run because it's running in the sky. And press Create. And I'm going to use uh, an animated character from Mixamo. So uh, the cool thing here is you can animate your uh, character and, and download the animation for free. And it imports pretty well into, uh, into Unity. So if we can look at that now as the, um, as the game is being created, just select a character. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick this guy here, uh, Vanguard looks pretty cool and then we switch over to the animations tab and look for uh, an animation a running animation um, I'll pick this one here and you need to press in place so um, you can move him in your code okay download now you need to um, uh, download the FBX for unity save that to your disk uh, and then for whatever reason you need to also download uh, the Collada file to make sure you get the textures as well if you don't um, you won't see the textures in unity okay so now we can open up that uh, folder on Un unzip it uh, to extract the um, the textures folder, which is underneath the running folder here. Copy that um, and go over to your Skyrun folder for your project. Create a folder called Player under Assets, and then copy your textures folder into into that folder. We also need to go back and uh, copy over the FBX file. Okay. So now we have everything we need. We can uh, go into Unity. Yeah, it doesn't issue with the textures, just press fix now. Um, and now we're going to make a couple of folders for the materials and for our script as well as a folder for our prefabs okay i'm just going to create a, um, a 3d object a cube that can act as the ground and just scale it up on the X and Z to about 100 and maybe 0 0.2 on the Y. Okay, there's our ground. And now we're going to go to our player folder and drag in the player. Move him up a bit. And now we're going to create a, uh, a tile that uh, we're going to spawn, so we're going to make a prefab out of it, um, and it will spawn that then to act as the uh, the ground along which the player runs. So just make a, a material for it, a simple material. Just give it a color, any color you want. I'm going to pick a nice blue. Okay, made a prefab out of that. And then just from the top, just check that it's uh, directly underneath the player. So we're going to create three of these. So I press Control D to uh, duplicate the, the tile. We're going to make three or four of them. Um, so that when the player starts running, there is uh, already some ground. 
Um, but we're going to then spawn the additional tiles as the player runs. So initially there'll be four. Um, and uh, nothing much happening now, of course. We haven't given any, um, we haven't uh, done anything to the player. So we have to create a, um, a script to move the player. Yeah, just resetting the camera to start off with. Okay. So let's give the player some movement. Well, actually, for let's create a script for the um, uh, the camera trail. We we'll call it trail camera. That means that the uh, the camera will follow the player. And we need to give the uh, now add a character controller to the player. as well as a script we'll call um, player movement. So let's uh, edit that one first, double click on that to go into Visual Studio. I'll put this code up on GitHub so you can, you can copy and paste it into your uh, scripts later. I'm going to copy it in from a, a project I was working on. Um, I will just go over it very briefly. So a couple of variables, one for turn left, one for turn right, bools, get a reference to the character controller. You check the keyboard uh, for keys A and D to see if you go left or right, and then you move them at the bottom. Um, the speed and, and so on will be uh, set as variables in the editor. So it's very simple. You know, if you, if you press A, you go left. Uh, if you press you go right. So when we press play now, we should see that the player uh, moves forward with the speed we set there. Indeed he does, um, but we need to fix the animation. So let's open up the, uh, the player character, click on the animation called running. You need to edit that. And make sure that the loop time is set. Apply. Okay. So now the animation will be uh, will loop. Drag the animation onto the um, onto the character, and check in the animator tab that it's there. You go to window at the top of the screen and uh, and open the animator uh, if you didn't have it already. Okay, so at least he's animating now properly. So now we need to uh, get the camera to properly trail him. So I'm going to assign this script called trail camera to the camera. But first, uh, copy in the code for it. it. Again, it's pretty simple code, which I'll put up on GitHub. So um, yeah, you, you decide what, what the target is to follow. And then you update the position um, in the forward direction, and then I just update the the height of the of the uh, camera uh, by the height offset. And this code here is just to give it a kind of a, a delayed uh, spring effect as you move around, so it doesn't immediately fall around when you go around the corner. Okay, so hopefully the camera will now follow the uh, player when we assign that script to the camera. Okay, so we need to uh, set the target, which is the player. Save the scene, save the project. And let's see if the camera follows the player. Indeed, it does. Okay, so now we need to spawn the tiles. So we make another script for that. Just move my player movement script into the scripts folder for tidiness. Back into, um, so let's make a script now for the, um, you know, spawning the tiles that, uh, I 
Okay. So again, I've got code for this. And so at the top, there are some variables, some of them public, so we can edit them in the editor. Um, basically, what you want to do is uh, get a reference object from the scene to be the starting point. Um, I've got a couple of uh, vector tree uh, variables there. And so initially you set the, um, the tile position to be the starting uh, position transform from the reference object. And then um, when a certain amount of time passes, uh, you know, given by this time offset parameter, so it's just a bit less than half a second, we'll spawn a new tile. So that'll be a, a variable we can edit in the editor as well. So I'm just checking if the time since the start is greater than that time offset, then uh, we'll spawn or in, uh, instantiate a tile. Um, and then depending on some random uh, number, we will um, either keep going straight or change direction. So, so the code in, inside here is really deciding um, you know, will, will we keep going straight or should we turn? And you can add different directions there. That's just, uh, you know, so most of the time you'll keep going straight, but every now and again, you'll you'll turn. So, need to add in the uh, spawn tile script. I'm adding it to the camera. And the tile to spawn is the prefab and the reference object is the basically the starting point where it's going to um, you just need to click on that uh, third or fourth tile that's there as the starting point because it'll spawn the new tiles after that one. Okay, let's see if that works. Save the project. First, and there we go. Okay, that was uh, pretty much it. I hope it was helpful. Um, any interest in other similar tutorials? Uh, give me a shout in the comments below. Okay, have fun. Thanks.